a woman saw a gynecologist for nine years, then discovered the unthinkable truth. After nine years of regular vaginal and breast examinations with her gynecologist, Morgan Helquist solely came to a distressing realization. The doctor whom she trusted with countless examinations was, she suspected, her biological father. The first inkling came during an appointment this April, Helquist alleges in a lawsuit filed this weekend. Helquist had never known her biological father, having been conceived via artificial insemination and born in September 1985. But she knew one thing according to the lawsuit. The doctor, Morris Wartman, facilitated the artificial impregnation of her mother, though she and her family believed it had involved the sperm of a medical student. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. During the April appointment, as Wartman conducted a vaginal ultrasound on Helquist, the doctor had allegedly asked Helquist to take off her mask because she looked better without one. Wartman also invited his wife into the examination room to meet Helquist, so she could look at the woman's features and discern a physical resemblance to Wartman, the lawsuit alleges. Then Wartman allegedly said, You're a really good kid, such a good kid. That is when it dawned on Helquist that Wartman, a man she'd known since childhood and from whom she'd been receiving medical care for nearly a decade, might be her biological father. She later discovered, according to the lawsuit, that the Rochester, New York doctor may have fathered six other children she'd located over the course of several years starting in 2017. A DNA test a month later suggested that she was Wartman's biological daughter, the lawsuit says. Helquist was in shock and disbelief that he would continue to treat her as her gynecologist if she were his biological daughter, the lawsuit states. Now, Helquist is suing Wartman, alleging medical malpractice, lack of informed consent, battery, fraud, negligence, and infliction of emotional distress. The complaint alleges that in 1985, Wartman impregnated Helquist's mother, Joanne Levy, with his own sperm while telling her it was from a medical student and that Wartman nevertheless began to treat the daughter he helped create starting when she was 26. Tales of doctors surreptitiously impregnating patients with their own sperm are not uncommon. Dozens accuse Quincy Fortier, a respected obstetrician, of being their biological father, saying he secretly inseminated their mothers as they were being treated at a hospital in Las Vegas. In July, hundreds of plaintiffs in a class action lawsuit reached a tentative settlement for $10.7 million with an Ottawa-based fertility doctor whom they allege artificially inseminated women with the wrong sperm, and in some cases his own. In Helquist's case, Wartman helped her mother with an artificial insemination in the early 80s after Helquist's father, Gary Levy, was struck by a drunk driver and paralyzed from the waist down, the lawsuit says. The Levies had two requirements. The donor needed to have a clean medical history and Northern European heritage, matching that of the Levy family. Wartman told the family a medical student would donate the sperm, according to the lawsuit. For about a year, Joanne Levy tried and failed to conceive after multiple artificial insemination attempts. But in 1985, Levy became pregnant. In September that year, Morgan was born. When the girl was eight years old, the Levies told Morgan that Gary was not her biological father and that she was conceived artificially. The lawsuit says Morgan's parents also told her about Wartman, whom they praised as a talented doctor who delivered them the miracle of her birth. As Morgan matured, married, and had children, she maintained an affinity for Wartman, the lawsuit says. So when the 26-year-old Helquist began to suffer irregular menstrual bleeding, she sought help from Wartman. From 2012 until 2021, he remained her doctor, performing examinations and medical procedures that required Helquist to be under conscious sedation, according to the lawsuit. Meanwhile, Helquist began a search for the medical student she believed was her biological father. An initial genetic test showed that she was half-Jewish, but she had no luck finding the medical student. Instead, she learned she had two half-brothers, both of whom were half-Jewish, donor-conceived and born in the mid-1980s. A year later, Helquist discovered two more half-siblings who were also donor-conceived, half-Jewish and born in the 80s. In the following years, Helquist found two more half-siblings with the same story. Helquist feared that her father was a serial sperm donor and that there were other half-siblings who would continue to show up in her life, according to the lawsuit. After each discovery, Helquist notified Wartman, the lawsuit says. And this past April 12th, she found herself in Wartman's private office when she came to suspect he was the serial sperm donor. Still, she thought it was inconceivable that Wartman would knowingly treat his own biological daughter as a gynecology patient for almost a decade, the lawsuit states. But a month later, a DNA test confirmed it, she said in the lawsuit. 
One of her half-brothers had been in touch with one of Wartman's known daughters, and the test found that there was a 99.99% chance they were siblings. That test, Helquist says in her lawsuit, suggests Wartman is her father. If Helquist had known this, the lawsuit says she would never consent to being a patient in his gynecology practice. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.